Hi guys, well, I'm here with George Munoz and we're going to do a couple questions about Recon. So how, how did Recon come about? Uh, it's been an idea I've had in my head for for a long time now, you know. Um, I love comics. Mm -hmm. I love them. I'm a huge nerd. Uh, I know my shit. Like, I, can I swear or no? Yeah. All right, fuck yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, I really love comics. And I used to own my own comic book store, and then I had to give that up. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then I still wanted to be within the comics community, mm -hmm. something that um, had to do with comics. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to draw. I don't know how to write very well. I, I color outside the line. I'm terrible at coloring. Um, but I still want to do something. So this idea has always been in my head because yes. Wizard World, C2E2, all these big cons that have been, even the smaller cons, they're, they're, they're more media cons or yes. pop culture cons. Um, and that's not something I want. You know, I, I grew up, again, reading comics and I love them. And Wizard World used to be a straight up comic mm -hmm. convention. Uh, they had less media stars. They had wrestlers, yeah, but they weren't as predominant as they are now. Um, but that was my goal. I wanted comics. And me being Hispanic, I'm Mexican. Um, so I also wanted the, the focus to shift to diversity. You know, I think... I, I don't want it to get it too political. But I, I think in this day and age, it's, it's incredibly important to have representation. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly important. So that was my other goal. It, it's, you know, have it in Chicago. Uh, you know, not a suburb of. I don't want it in Rosemont. I don't want it in, you know, in Wheeling or Wheaton or Niles or Morton Grove or anything like that. I wanted to have it in Chicago. Have it be diverse. Mm -hmm and have it be comics. Okay. Yeah, because that's what we noticed. Like, we've been to other cons, and like you said, it's a combination of a lot of things, uh, even toys, mm -hmm. there's guys and stuff like that. But really, which I, I, which I really loved about here, is just strictly artists mm -hmm. and their comics and, and their art. And their, when you actually talk to them one-on-one, -on -one, and that's what I've discovered here, that, you know, there's a lot of art, art out there, a lot of stories out there mm -hmm. that we really don't know, apart from... Well, we, you know, from where we usually read in DC and Marvel. Mm -hmm. uh, so for now, like, what, what's your, what, what do you see in your future here? Like, what's your, the big goal, the big goal, the, like, right The big goal, uh, I, I want to keep doing what I'm doing. Like, I, okay. I got great and amazing feedback uh, from all of the artists and all of the guests. Yeah. It's been almost universally positive oh, yeah. with everybody that I've talked to. So the goal is to grow this okay. up until I can't fit it here anymore. And then I want to be able to do it, you know, in a bigger venue. I want to obviously grow. I don't, you know, that's that's the goal of, of doing what you love. You want it to be better than what it was. Um, so that's the goal. I, I'm going to, I'm gonna. there is definitely going to be a year two. Uh, I've, I'm already working on it, trying to get more artists and, and uh, more creators and just have them here. And then go from there. You know, year three, if, if I outgrow the space, awesome. If not, I, I want more people here. I want more people yeah. that love comics to be a part of the show. Because, yeah. yeah, like, I think me and Miguel, overall, we're actually very really happy with this. Because, we, like I said, we've been to other ones, and they're cool, and they, you know, for what they bring. Exactly. But here, you're getting artists. Yeah. You're, you're actually sitting there one-on-one, -on -one, talk mm -hmm. about, you know, stuff. Like you're, and, you, and you actually begin to understand the craft and stuff like that. And, that, and that's something that I loved, really. So, and here, well, what's, like... Uh, your favorite artist so far? Oh man, uh, there's quite a few. Like, if you guys have seen Megan, she's a she's an amazing yeah. artist. Like, sh I, I saw her work and I was like, this. And and I don't like doing, you know, like this is like this person and this one. But if you love J H Williams and and you love Tim Sale, like she's this perfect amalgamation yeah. of both of them, and she is incredibly talented. Yeah. Um, Gene is another yeah. one. I've been a fan of his since I saw his work in Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix. You know, back in the 90s. Um, yeah, goes, yeah, way back, yeah. yeah that, he goes way back. Um, and he looks young. He's awesome. Yeah. He's, he's I a, didn't know. I yeah. he, you know, he actually told us. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah he's been around for a while. Uh, up and cut, like, again, Daniel Warren Johnson has this amazing style. Yeah. Uh, it's very kinetic and uh, very detailed. If you take Paul Pope and you take anime and you take Jeff Darrow and you kind of like smush them together, you get Daniel Warren Johnson. And there are so many other creators. Uh, Jamie, um, oh man, I don't want to butcher her last name. It's uh, <laughs> Primac, I think I want to say. Again, amazingly yeah. detailed artwork and it's gorgeous it's yeah. gorgeous yeah and that's something we discovered too like uh, Wesley uh, John Delamantia which is mm. re really cool art really John cool is another amazing artist that 
you can the detail he puts into his work gorgeous i mean yeah and that's something that we actually don't see as often now like we actually sit down and see a comic book like it's they're not as detailed as in the 90s i feel like the 90s were like the go we, for me gold for me yeah. golden age just the detail is indescribable here he has the same the same style really and it's more of uh, like I was telling him for, for whatever reason in my head it was like between Silent Hill Hellboy and Swamp Thing kind of art where it's like out there and it, it grabs your attention and it's it's beautiful yeah it's beautiful yeah so like in the future what kind of like which artist do you would you love in your red kind of like what, what's your like top artist that you would like well, J. H. Williams. I would love J. H. But there's 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 someone that I would love to have here because she inspired the direction and the okay. tone of the of the show, um, and that's Kelly Sue okay. I would love to have her here because she really solidified. Uh, there was an interview she did, and she really solidified for me what I wanted to do with the show. Like I wanted to be socially conscious with the show okay. and so more socially aware. And it was an interview that she had. And she was talking about how um, she was listening on the radio and people were praising the new pope that he'll okay. consider the fact that women could be priests. Like, he would consider it. And people were praising him because he's progressive now. And now that's so awesome. But she got upset. She's like, okay. you mean you'll consider me being uh-huh. a human being? Like, you'll give that consideration to give uh-huh. me equal footing? Like, And the way she said it, like, there was... There was passion in her voice, and there was there was anger. There was anger in there, and I felt, and I got mad. And I'm like, she is absolutely right. Yeah. What can I do to contribute? Okay. So that was one of my. That's that is specifically why I have a little girl as the logo. Okay. And I don't want to ever ever identify her because I don't want her to be a specific. I want everybody to associate with okay. her. I want. And now, again, I, I want more women creators here, and I want to be able to do that. Um, have have invite uh, 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 more women here, more creators of color here. And, and her interview and her passion set the tone for what I wanted to do. And, and yeah, she, she was a big influence on me, and, and, and hopefully I'll have her here one year. That would be great. And also, uh, another thing that I was very surprised to see, it was they actually had a panel. Which was very cool. I actually, in all the kinds that we've done, I don't think I've seen that. Uh, what was your inspiration for the panel? Like, did you like did you want to do it at first, or was it something that you? It was like planned. Uh, how how? Well, okay. Yeah, I I always wanted to have a panel because that was one of my favorite parts of cons, going to panels and, and kind of like nerding out with yeah. the creators and getting to know them a little bit better. Now, with the venue. Uh, that I picked I mean it didn't have panel rooms okay so but it had a stage and and yet the panels were always part of the plan so I needed to be creative with the venue and the space that I have so I was like well what if we put it put have the panel on stage and we can have people go up and and it's so far I think a lot of people responded positively to it they they really enjoyed it. So that it, yes, it was always in the works. It's just I needed to figure out in my head how to make it work, which which worked really well because we, me and Miguel had sat, sat there. They were actually discussing uh, the Superman movies. <laughs> so that was to me that was actually really cool and actually how each one gave their own individual idea and and each one kind of kind of resonated on each one. So that was pretty cool and I think. I think for me this was like a real a big success and hopefully the next next year like you said it'll be bigger and hopefully for me hopefully it grows into a bigger venue that because that, that's the ultimate goal yeah. and you know more artists and stuff like that uh, but I, yeah I'm, I'm actually a little blown away so Thank thanks for everything and uh, is there anything you want to no I mean information uh, or uh, information like us on Facebook Chicago Redcon. Uh, this way, you'll know what next year what I'm going to be having, or who I'm going to be having. Not what, but who I'm going to be having. I, I really want to get again more artists yeah. here, and more importantly, more people. Please come, uh, and this is the only way it'll it'll grow. Is if, exactly. if people respond well to it, and then they show up and they have a good time. And that that was my big my big goal as well, or one of the many, is making sure everybody has a good time and it's worth them being here. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Roy George, and hopefully, yeah, I know we'll be here next year. <laughs> thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you.